Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to discuss a set of four SQL problems. Out of four, I think two are very interesting. So watch the video till the end. I will be discussing all four and giving the solutions. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe it and like my videos. It really motivates me to make more videos and better content. So let's start and understand the data. So we have this data, the students data. And we have students and their marks in various subjects. So like student ID, student name, subject, marks, test ID and test date, right? So fairly simple data, right? So each student can have more than uh, one test for different subjects, right? So for example, uh, student ID 5 has three subjects, three tests and student ID 2 had three tests, okay? So let's move on to the first question straight away without wasting time. The first, is, uh, first question is fine, not that complex. That is equal query to get the list of students who scored above the average marks in each subject. So what we have to do, we have to check what is the average marks in each subject. For example, subject 1, subject 1, subject 1, subject 1. So for this subject 1, we have to check what is the average marks and then we have to check which students has have scored more than average marks. So for that, first we have to find the average marks of each subject. So I will take subject, right? Average of marks as average marks from students group by subject because for each subject I want average marks, right? So if I run this quickly, I got average marks. Now I will just make this a CT with the average CT as this and then I will just put a filter joining with the main table again so select from students as in a join average city let's say AC on we have to join on subject because we have to we have to have subjects right in the city and we have to check which students have scored more than these marks so i can just say on s dot subject equal to ac dot subject right okay where where s so i have to find where s dot marks greater than average marks right this will give me the answer so let me quickly do says dot star let me do star for both and we'll see and ac dot star right this will be dot and let's see the answer quickly okay so we got these students whose marks is greater than average marks in each subject. So average marks is 77 in subject 1. So these two guys have more than average marks in both the subjects 95, 91 in the subject 1, right? Similarly, Krish has in subject 2 71 marks. The average marks is 61, right? So 71, 84, these two guys. Similarly, student 85 in subject 3, this guy has got 98 and average marks is 63. So this is how we got the answer to first question, okay? Let's move on to the second one. Second question is write a SQL query to get the percentage of students who score more than 19 any subject amongst the total students. So we have to check how many students have scored above 19 at least one subject, any of the subjects. So for example, for example, above 90, who else? So this guy is 95, right? It's 23 and student id 5 okay so there are only two two people who have scored more than 90 so 5 has scored more than once 91 98 but we have to find all the students who scored 90 at least in one subject so these two guys out of the five student only two scored more than 95 in at least one subject so now we have to have this 2 divided by 5 40 percent so how i will do it simple i'll do is when marks 
greater than 90 then student id right i will take count of else else nothing else null let's say null end right now i have to do distinct of it otherwise what will happen this student will come twice but we want only once because we want percentage of students so i will do distinct of student id so what will happen wherever marks are more than 90 we will get the student ids right and we are doing distinct of student id divide by count of distinct student id this is total student ids we will get as percentage right so we got first of all we are checking for who the students whose marks is greater than 90 among those we are taking distinct student id so we will get two here and we will get okay let me do this first separately and then we can check the percentage right so if i run this So 2 and 5 and I have to get percentage just divide by it as percent but the answer will be wrong. Can you guess? I am running it, it won't be 40 percent. It is 0. I have told in previous videos many times integer divided by integer is integer. So 0 0.4 it is giving a 0 only. So I have to make it decimal. I can just multiply it by 1.0 and it will make it decimal and we will got we will get 0 0.4. And if we want into percentage, we can do into 100 and we got 40%. So this is how we got number of students who scored at least 19, at least one of the subject. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Very, very good question for interview. So yeah, uh, there is some problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 40%, right? Let's move on to the next one. This is very tricky and good question, I guess. So this says, write a SQL query to get the second highest and second lowest marks for each subject. So we have different subjects, right? Let me run the query quickly. Let me order by subject and marks. Okay. So it is saying write a SQL query to get the second highest and second lowest marks for each subject. So for example, subject one, subject one has highest marks, how much 95, right? And this is lowest marks, but we want second highest, second highest is 91, so 91, second lowest is 63, so 63. This is how we want output. Similarly for subject two, subject two is here. Okay. Second highest is 71, right? 84, 71. Second lowest is 60, 60. So this is how we want output. Okay. So let's move on to solution. Very good question, I think. Not an easy one. So let's do it. So select a star from students. Okay. So I just need subject and marks for now. We don't need anything else, right? Now, apart from this, what we will do, we will find rank, okay, rank for each subject as per marks. We will calculate both ascending and in descending order. Let me show you what's going to happen. Rank over, now for each subject, I want separate. So that's why I'm doing partition by partition by subject, right, order by marks first i will do ascending order right and i will name as s rank in ascending order similarly i will take rank in descending order as well so rank dsc this will be dsc everything will be as it is now let me run this quickly okay so now if you see we have got rank right so for subject one subject one the highest highest marks will get rank one in the descending order right and second highest will get rank two when i am doing rank descending second highest is 91 so rank is two for 91 similarly when i am doing ascending order 
so second lowest i will get rank 2 so i i am interested in rank 2s only in descending order when i do rank 2 i will get second highest in ascending order when i get rank 2 i will got sec second lowest so 63 and 91 and similarly for other subjects so this is i got even if i filter now on this or this row i will get it in separate rows right and that's what i don't want i want in separate columns right if i filter in this query further that where ranked descending equal to 2 or rank ascending equal to 2 i will get these two rows separately right but i want separate columns so what i will do so just see what we can do so i will just use this as subquery select from and this is my subquery starting here ending here this is just a subquery alias a what i'm going to do i will say subject okay now case when case when just just focus here case when rank descending equal to 2 then marks so whenever rank descending equal to 2 give me marks otherwise else null i don't want marks i just want wherever rank descending is 2 give me marks so it will put here 2 wherever everywhere else it will put null okay and s second highest marks right now i am going to copy this again now i am saying rank equal to underscore ascending equal to 2 then marks as null and as second lowest marks i will just run this but we have to do a aggregation on top of it okay so just see what is the output here if you see for subject 1 right this is a subject one everything else is null only for second highest marks we have 91 here and for second lowest marks we have 63 here it means what we did for all the rows we made everything else null now we can just sum it so when i sum it it will be 91 and when i sum it it will be 63 so this is what the trick to solve it so i will just do here group by subject right and here I need to do sum. That's it. I can run this now and verify the output. We can now verify the output. Subject 1, 9163. Subject 2, 7160. Subject 3, 2998. I hope this is clear. Okay, let's move on to last question. So last question is for each student and test, identify if their marks increased or decreased from the previous test. Okay, so let me run this query quickly. So in each test, we have to see if the mass marks have increased or decreased for each student. So for example, Max, he, marks, uh, 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 he has 63 marks, right, in subject one. So we have to check on next test he has more or less so if it is more i have to say increased if it is less so for example here it is decreased so here it will be decreased and for the first row it will not be applicable we can say null nothing right for the first test it's we cannot tell it is decreased or increased right so it it is a typical case of legal ad function i think we can quickly do it so what i'll do i'll say select star from students Okay, so I'll say lead. I need the next test. Uh, from the previous test, I, I need to check. So I will do lag. Okay, lag. So I have to check in previous test what was the, what was the marks and in this test what was the marks and I can compare. So I will say lead, uh, lag, marks. Okay, how much? One over for each student I need. So student name. partition by order by I'll give these three columns two columns actually 
in fact i can use a student id which is better because it is integer we have a student id so we will use this as this subject as previous marks right let me run this quickly okay so for each student for first there is only one test so it is previous marks is null now for this max guy we have previous marks null for first row obviously for second row previous marks is 63 and for third row it is 84 right previous similarly for others so i can just quickly say select star from this table a okay and similarly i can drive a column case when case when marks greater than previous marks then i will say marks have increased else decreased and as the status let's say that's it i run this i will get this new column and that is the answer so in, in each test i am getting if it is increased or decreased right now for first it is coming decreased because in else i have given decreased right so if you do want to do that what you can do you can just do if greater than previous marks just increase okay when i will just reverse it less than this then decreased else null right so this will work so we got the status as null right so this is how you can solve i think all four questions are good uh, try yourself i will put the insert script or data set in the description box and please do like the video thanks for watching